Welcome to Australia, the Pussycat Dolls. Yay! Super excited that you guys are coming for So Pop. We are too. Honestly, it's been a hot minute. 2009 was the last time the Pussycat Dolls were in New Zealand. How are you guys feeling about coming back? We were with Gaga then, weren't we? Yeah. She did all right. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's amazing to get to come back and get to perform our songs and... We're just celebrating everything right now, and it's, it's, it's such a great lineup too. It's gonna be just a fun time for everybody to sing along, have a little bev, have a nostalgia. good time. How good is nostalgia? Honestly, it's so amazing, and I felt a whole bunch of nostalgia last night at the Nova Red Room. Mm. So many of your songs are just like the epitome of my upbringing and my childhood and those teen years when probably was doing things that I shouldn't be doing. <laughs> but it's a right good We all did that. We <laughs> all did that. I think it's so important and I think, you know, I sometimes feel fortunate that we did come up in an era where there wasn't social media because... Woo! We did, you know, everybody's got to do their thing. And I think when you're on camera, it's a different kind of... Um, it comes from a different place because you're you're conscious that you're on camera or you may be filmed, right? Whereas like we really were present and we lived our lives and we were full out and there wasn't, you know, a million cameras recording us. And now it's different when we do performances. Everybody's trying to capture it. And we were talking about this after the show that sometimes like Nicole said, she spoke to the audience, but they were so behind the camera that they didn't even really hear. So there's like this kind of disconnect when people try to capture it the whole time. But it is incredible because we do get to engage with our fans on a different level. They DM us right away and they send us all the content, they tag us and so we're all absorbed in it, yeah. And in terms of tagging and your fans going absolutely crazy, I have to take it back to your first performance on The X Factor. Yeah, we were really, really, uh, I think we were taken back by ourselves when we were able to do in such little time, we hadn't been together in over 10 years and I was doing two shows at the same time. So we literally just had three days as a group to kind of get into warrior mode and we just locked in. We didn't have time to overthink, time to be scared on the jumps. We were crying through the jumps, but we just did it. And uh, we committed and it, it was, it was a it was a real victory for us and um, made us feel like, just showed how um, much we've evolved as women and uh, in every way. Um, and we're able to come at, uh, back with our best foot forward stronger than ever. And there definitely has been an evolution. Like some of you are now moms. Like a lot has changed in the past 10 years. There's been a few marriages and things going on there. How would you say that the past 10 years has impacted your writing process? The entire artistic process, um, we're just more settled as, as women. You know, we've all gone through so much in, in coming. You, we always have a message of female empowerment, but there's no better um, a way to be a light of that than having lived through that and come out the other side. And React is like the female empowerment anthem. Like it's such an incredible song. For somebody who may be watching or listening who is struggling to feel that empowerment that you guys all embody, do you have any advice? Take some time to find a space where you can practice. Sometimes it's hard to own your space if you don't practice it. For me, it's the dance floor. That's where I'm able to own my space, find myself, find my fears, and, and express that. But everybody can find it in their own way, and hopefully React will help you along that journey. And what's also, your go-to move on the dance floor? I mean, it depends on what song is playing and what dance floor I am on. Booty pops are always a good one. A little right. figure eight swivel is quite nice. Hair flips always Ooh, feel yes. good. Hairography is always a go-to. Also, it's important what you said. There's a lot of people, I mean, hopefully you can tap into your inner pussycat doll, but uh, everybody does have their own purpose and their own power and their own um, reason that they're here. So whatever you're passionate about, whatever you desire in your heart and in your gut, it's, it's scary, but be bold and go for it. It's going to take work, but your work will speak for itself. But go for it and don't let anybody tell you any different and that you're worth any less than what you are he here to do. And in terms of like the Pussycat Dolls, you guys are absolutely crazy. You're here, there and everywhere. Like I've been following your social media for a long time, but even in the last couple of days, like it's been mental. <laughs> Like, We've how do you know where you are, what you're doing? Is there a documentary coming? So we don't. We have no idea. Doing? You know what's funny, too? You guys will remember this. There was this one time we were in Canada, 
and I said the wrong city. Oh. And the entire <laughs> arena was like, boo. And I looked at the girls, and I was like, I don't know what's happening right now. Um, because I didn't even realize where we were, and they were like hockey rivals, and they thought I was like coming at them. Oh, no. So every night, then I had a like fluorescent pink tape that was like, Ashley, you are here. But, uh, <laughs> uh, but it is nuts. You know, we've been up really early and doing really long hours, but it's all to promote us coming back. So we're very grateful to even have all this going on right now. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I'm so excited that you are back. And of course, you're coming for So Pop in May in New Zealand. Very excited for that. If you guys were to do your own 90s throwback concert, which artist would you want to perform? 1990s? Is yeah. that what you said? Montel Gibson. Jordan. Oh, oh yes. Debbie Gibson. Debbie Montel Gibson. Jordan. I love Montel. TLC. TLC. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Salt and Pepper. They kind of doing was, stuff. Was uh, Paul Abdul from yeah. the 90s? Ooh, straight up, now tell <laughs> me. Yeah. And in terms of your performance, obviously your Kiwis are excited, uh, excited to see you perform React for the first time in New Zealand. Is there a song that you're particularly excited to perform other than React? Don't Ya is our first ever single. It's our baby. And when that beat drops, you know, everybody just has a reaction to it and gets them going. And that feels good to have that exchange between our fans and ourselves. So it's always this with you is always a moment. And it means so much to us to have, you know, departed for 10 years and come back together. And there's just a feeling when that song plays and we sing it together and we sing it with our fans. I think it, it means a lot. So I'm looking forward to that. It's almost like a family. It is. Busy. I love that. Family. And it's International Women's Day tomorrow. You are yes. all super empowered and incredible women, absolutely paving the path for the younger generation, which I absolutely love to see. For you guys, what does women empowerment mean and what does this day mean to you guys? Women empowerment means, I think, just um, for, first of all, celebrating women. I mean, women are so awesome and beautiful. They're the only, you know, they, they're the only ones that can procreate and create another human. But I think it's just really loving and accepting yourself. And looking back at all the women that have paved the path for us to be able to do what we're doing in our space right now. You know, we carry on the torch of so many women that have sacrificed so much to be able to allow us this space to, you know, celebrate our creativity, celebrate our sassiness and our fierceness. You know, this wasn't available, you know, in, in past history. Yeah, so femininity. Absolutely. So yeah, it means a whole lot and the fact that we get to carry that torch and continue that conversation on International Women's Day kind of it's something to be celebrated. And I love the fact that you just said continue because we have come so far but there is still so much oh, further yeah. to go. Yeah. And the fact that you guys are a part of that, like from me to you, thank you. Aww. You guys are absolute yeah. legends. That's so nice. Cannot wait to see you at So Pop in Auckland. And thank you so much Yay. for catching up with me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.